Oh, dude, check it out. Wow, this is awesome. So this is the African twig snake. Join me, Mike Clarkson, on Zilla's one-of-a-kind adventure care series, Beyond the Glass, as we study the wild relatives of our captive bred pets in order to better understand how to care for them. Let's go Beyond the Glass. We're in West Africa at the base of Kloto Mountain. Kloto Mountain translates from the local Awe language as tortoise mountain. But we're not here looking for tortoises. We're looking for the largest snake in West Africa, the African rock python. And waterways like this are exactly where we should find them. So let's go beyond the glass. So the locals tell us that uh, you often find the pythons in areas like this early in the morning. And it's still nice and early. You can still hear the songbirds and you have sun coming through and they'll be basking in spots like this. I think we're here in time, so hopefully so is our target. Oh, dude, dude. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Stay calm. So this is a herald snake. So it's a rear fanged coolibrid. It's an amphibian specialist. They've got those enlarged fangs that used to puncture the frogs when they're inflated. A lot of frogs will inflate as a defense against predators, but these big teeth pop them like balloons. They do have vertical pupils, and when they're alarmed, they'll flatten their head to look like a viper, and it makes them look kind of scary, but they're totally harmless, and you know, as you can see, pretty benign, friendly snakes. A lot of people are afraid of these guys, and there's no reason to fear the herald snake. Another fun fact about the herald snake is where their name came from. It was actually the newspaper, The Herald, that their description first occurred in, hence herald snake. Not a lot of people keep them, obviously keeping a good stock of amphibians and speeders isn't the easiest thing to do year-round in the States. But they're really neat animals. Some people call them red-lipped herald snakes, some people call them white-lipped herald snakes, but the lip color varies so much that I think including the color name of the lips and the common name is kind of a misnomer. It misleads people. It's, it's a herald snake. Such a cool snake, always fun to find. But uh, the sun's continuing to rise in the sky, and if it gets too hot, we're going to have to stop our search for a bit and pick back up in the afternoon. So we can continue down the river and keep spotting out these little sun patches and shelter spots. If there's one plant that's always a familiar face anywhere in the world, it seems to be bamboo. There are many species of bamboo, but the Asian variety seems to be just about everywhere in the world and it's known as an invasive species, or one that's been introduced and disrupts natural habitat. Luckily, animals have made the best of it. It provides shade and it does provide shelter. I mean, look, it just takes over. Oh, dude, check it out. Wow, this is awesome. So this is the African twig snake. Like the Asian vine snake, they do have that undercolored scale, so when they get angry, they flare out. One of the few truly deadly coolibrids on Earth. These guys, keelbacks, and boomslong. But twig snakes and boomslong are in their own category. No anti-venom. And such a gnarly venom. Their venom will actually thin your blood where you'll start bleeding out your eyes, out your ears, out your gums, out of old cuts that have healed over. Your blood becomes so thin, it just starts spilling out of your body. The weird thing is, it takes a long time to kick in. So you'll get bit, you'll think you're fine, and the next day you may or may not wake up in a pool of your own blood. Pretty freaking scary venom. Unless you're a vampire. Not too many people are working with these. I don't recommend anyone outside of the most experienced keepers trying to work with these. They are restricted in most states, but it is a really cool animal to see because it is one of Africa's most underrated deadly snakes. And one of the most brilliant examples of convergent evolution that I could ever think of. Bellatornis, really cool coolibrid. 
with a mean bite. It looks like this area's been cleared out a little, which is actually an advantage because it's letting more sunlight in. And hopefully, dude, dude, really still, don't move. Right there. in here somewhere. Even a small hole like this feels like there's a thousand places she could have gone, but it, the, the bottom's not that deep. Come on. It's crazy, this water has absolutely no visibility. Every time I think I have her, I just have sticks. Oh, 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 danger end. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the African rock python. Biggest python in all of Africa. What a gorgeous snake. Man, but exactly, exactly how the locals told us that they just take advantage of this water. Look at that, she disappears. You won't even know she's there. I'm gonna take this girl to shore. We're gonna get a better look at her. I'm not gonna take my measurements right here. Come on. You gotta continue back later. Oh! Whoa, oh, it's okay. These guys are known to be a pretty cranky species, and uh, in the water she wasn't too bad, but she's kind of demonstrating the stereotypes I've heard about her. All right, well, she is starting to not enjoy our presence as much as we're enjoying hers, so I'm gonna let her go on her way, and I'll take my measurements. See you, girl. Live a happy life. Time to get the other stuff we came here for. The data. So now you can see how important a large water bowl is for these guys. I mean, this is definitely her watering hole. And if I were going to try to effectively keep these, I'd give them a nice large water bowl because obviously she loves this. This is, this is her swimming pool. That was awesome. We got exactly what we came for. We saw some other cool species and some really rad habitat. You know, if you're gonna keep these big pythons, you're gonna have to go the whole nine yards. And we're almost talking square footage there. Thank you, West Africa, for sharing yourself with us. What a unique place. You have these pristine ecosystems juxtaposed to an ever-expanding human world. It's really just a place all its own. We hope by sharing West Africa with you, you've been inspired and empowered to go above and beyond minimal care and do the best you can for your animals. Because isn't that what they deserve? Thanks for going Beyond the Glass with us. Stay tuned for season three.